Well, hello everybody and happy Saturday. It is time for date night with Lisa. I am Lisa Freeman from stampingwithlisa.com coming to you live on Saturday, July 23rd, 2022 at 7 p.m. Eastern. And I am so excited to show you this really quick and easy card. Um, we're gonna make five of them and I have kind of an ulterior motive because I have a meeting Monday night with, oh, this is really crooked. <laughs> Hold on, let me see if I can fix it. Um, with my upline and uh, the theme for the swap is like quick and easy cards with a lot of white space. So they're trying to do simply, like simple stamping. So, um, <laughs> Sherry says, how is my husband? <laughs> I'm not married yet. <laughs> I just had my first date today. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Hello, 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 everybody. Yes, nice, simple card. It is 70, I mean, 97 in Missouri. It is about 97 here, too. It's very hot. And hey, Debbie Spicer. You have company and need to be on here. Wouldn't you know it? Well, just tell the company they can wait until we're done. <laughs> hey, Kathy. <laughs> hey, Stephanie. Hey, Carla. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Antoinette. Hey, Heather. How is everyone? Hey, Sandy. Hey, Audrey. Hey, Amy. We've got a lot of people on here tonight. Yes, hot, hot, hot outside. And I did have my first date today with Howard. And I have to tell you about it. It was really fun. Hey, Beth. Hey, Barbara. Hey, Debbie Spicer. <laughs> Debbie Spicer sent me some jokes today, so I'm going to have to share them with you. And Howard is supposed to be joining us today. I'm hoping he, he won't forget. I just talked to him a little while ago, and he said he was going to watch. So um, this is the card we're making. We're actually doing five of these. And I don't know if you can see the shimmer on there, but it's nice and sparkly. I've got a lot of shimmer spray on it. I don't know if you guys can see it. I, I can see it. So hopefully you guys can see it too. Let me tilt it a little bit. There we go. Oh, can you see it? Yes, I'm in the air condition. It is super duper hot here. Um, we actually went down to the beach in this park and um, it was so hot. We sat in the car in the air condition and talked for a little while and uh, then we went and found a place in the shade, but we're supposed to go to the beach tomorrow. So hopefully that will be really fun. And, um, oh good, you can see the shimmer. I can see it really good now, kind of in the, if I tilt it. All right, so we're gonna make a bunch of those, well five. I was gonna do 10, I have to do 10 for my swap, but I figured you guys would probably get bored after five, so that's what we're gonna do. So we're using the Oceanfront stamp set, um, just these two right here, and we're going to be using, uh, let me show you where it is. So it's on page 88 in the big catalog right here, and we're just using those two stamps. And it's so funny that this one is on the same page because this morning when I was sitting at the table eating breakfast and I looked out the window, a heron, a white heron, um, landed in the water right in back of my house next to the dock. So I thought that was so cute. I was almost gonna run out there and try and take a picture, but I was in my pajamas, so I didn't. But we're using Coastal Cabana and, oh, let me tell you a couple business things. So don't forget card kit for the rest of the month is this one. You'll get the supplies to make three of these cards. So anybody that orders $50 or more will get this card kit in the mail. Um, and then also we've got celebration going on. The only thing I think that's sold out so far is those um, envelopes and note cards. Or, uh, I think that's what they're called. The Seafoam and Pool Party. These right here, that's sold out. Everything else I think is still available. I'm thinking the hippos are gonna sell out soon because they're a big seller. But my favorite, The Wonderful World is available. If I can find it, this one. You better get it quick too because I bet that one's gonna sell out soon and we also have the joining special don't forget to get that awesome planner so that's a great um, deal all right so here's what you need 
we've got five of these, five and a half by eight and a half white, and I folded them all in half, and then five of these, five and a quarter by four white. So super easy card. Yes, I'm talking. Deborah, you can't hear me. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, oh, Robin, you just finished making four oceanfront cards. Now you have to make some of mine. Yep. Um, everything is still available. Okay, Michelle says everything's still available except for that, um, the one with the seafoam in the pool party. And let me go back and see if I got any comments I missed. 99 Salt Lake City. Ugh. Oh, Michelle, it rained at your house. It did not rain at my house. It is so hot. So hot. Ugh. Um, okay. So, let me do the jokes first. So, Debbie Spicer sent me some jokes. There's a bunch. I'm going to do some today and some next time. All right. You know you're old when you write yourself a note reminding you not to take a sleeping pill and a laxative on the same night. <laughs> I thought that was funny. <laughs> that would suck. <laughs> you know you're old when you hear your favorite songs in an elevator. That, that is true. Um, you know you're old when you're told to slow down by your doctor and not the police. I thought those were cute. And then there's one that's really long. I'll save that one for next time. All right, so the other thing that you need that I forgot to tell you is you need two more pieces of the five and a quarter by four white. And I punched these out with the circle die from the layering circles. And this one is the one that's like um, almost three inches. I measured and it's just under three inches. So I popped that out of two of them so I can do two at a time. Probably should have done three, but that's all right. And then you can save those circles for another time. And then I put a sticky post-it note. I ripped it in half and put it on the top. So I'm going to fold that over top of the card as I make it. So what I did was I just folded it um, over top of the card and then sponged in the middle. So we're going to do that. So let's get started. You ready? Up. Oh. Got all this junk over in the way here. Let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit. I'll scoot that down. Okay, hopefully I'm still straight. All right, we're gonna be using Coastal Cabana and Sahara Sand to do our sponging. So that's what we're gonna do first. I think I'm gonna do Coastal Cabana and then Sahara Sand and then move it to the next two. All right, so we don't need these yet. So we need our white. These are the quarter sheets of white that are cut down just a little bit. So we're gonna just stick it right on top. It's just a sliver off and then fold it over and that'll just keep it in place so it doesn't move. And I'll do that to another one. So we can do two at a time. So Howard and I had our first date today. We went to lunch and it was very nice. We just went to a little, um, seafood place got some fish and um shrimp and it was really good and we talked for a while and it was just so hot and then we left there and went down to the beach since um he lives over well really in smithfield but we went to newport news because that's where his aunt lives and she was watching his grandkids because his daughter's still in the hospital so oops let me start with the blue all right so we're going to start with coastal cabana Okay, so I need some scrap paper. Hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna tap off as I'm doing this because I don't want it too dark. And we're just gonna sponge the top part. And hopefully, let me move it up just a little bit. So I'm tapping off each time. Oh, you still can't see it, it's kind of low. Hold on, let me fix it just a little bit. Um, anyway, you know, his daughter's in the hospital, but, um, he's kind of mad at her about the car situation because now her boyfriend came and got her car out of the shop. So he's still without a car. So he's going to, um, have to go get a rental car, but I told him to call the insurance company and get it for free because the other guy's insurance should be paying for it. All right. So we're going to do this on each one. So just do the blue on like the top two thirds. So I'm tapping off each time so I don't wanna get a blob on here. 
and you're just gonna get that blue sky looking um, on the top and try to get it right in the cracks and everything and it's so nice over there um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this area but we're pretty much surrounded by water everywhere you go I am going to move over to the Sahara sand and do the bottom part of that so that goes right here on the like a bottom third part this is the hardest part of the whole card. I tried to do it with the, um, oh, what's that called? Watercolor shapes, but it came out too dark, so I needed to do the blending brush to make it a little bit softer. All right, so that's one, and then let's go to this other one, do the same thing. And then we'll just take these off to do the stampin'. You could stamp inside the circle if you wanted to, but I kind of liked it sticking off the edge just a little bit. Okay, so these two are done. So then when you take it off, uh-oh, oops, darn it, it's smeared just a little bit. All right, so when you take these off, you have that and this one. So we've got two done. Now we're going to move to two more. And so we have a lot in common. We had a really good time talking. And um, he's really, really sweet. And I found out he also, besides writing poems, he's written three children's books. So I told him maybe we could try and get them published on Amazon or something. I've never done it before, but... Um, I talked to this lady who came into patient whoop, where I work. <laughs> I'm not supposed to say the name of it. I almost just did. Um, the urgent care center where I work. Um, this lady came in and she handed me her card and um, it had like this wizard looking stuff on it. And um, she said her book was on Amazon. And I said, oh, is it hard to do that? And she said, no, it's really easy. They have like step-by-step um, -step directions of how to publish a book on Amazon so I told him we could try it so I'm gonna read his books and edit them cuz I think they probably need editing but he said they're like 80 pages I said that's kind of long for some uh, kids books <laughs> Cause usually children's books are like really short <laughs> all right let me read some comments oh the bottom of the card is off the screen Hold on, let me push it up a little bit. Is that better? Can you see it better now? So that's, that should be good for the blue. I hope this one, one of these has something in it, I think, that was making it get that dot. I don't know if it was this one or the other one. It takes a lot of ink. So make sure your pads are good and inked up. Kind of got a mark there, but that's all right. All right, so keep going until you get as much blue on there as you want. If you want it super dark, just keep going. All righty. There we go. Okay, so those look good. Now we're gonna do the Sahara sand at the bottom. Let me move that out of the way. Can you guys still see it? I tend to get in my zone and I'm not looking at the screen when I start stamping. Oh, Debbie says she likes this guy. Yeah, he does. He, he's writing me another poem tonight. He really is good with words. And then we're supposed to go to the beach tomorrow, so that should be fun. And I told him I need to work on uh, my weight and lose weight. And he's like, no, you don't. <laughs> he said, I like you just the way you are. I said, okay. <laughs> yeah, this is my swap card. It is. Hey, Melissa. Yes, this is my swap card. So I thought I'd get it done while I'm doing my video too. So I don't know if you saw it. That's it. <laughs> I was telling them I have the meeting in the 
We're supposed to do a card with white space. So this is what I came up with. And I didn't get home until like four o'clock, so I didn't have a whole lot of time to do my card. All right, so then take that off again. So we've got four done. Uh-oh, <laughs> took the wrong one off. All right, so one more. I should just go ahead and do them all. They're going so fast. All right, back to the blue, which is the Coastal Cabana. And then we're gonna stamp. And I've also got the shell from the Texture Chic. I forgot to say that at the beginning. So I just did that card the other day with the Texture Chic um, stamp set. I think that's the name of it, or Se Season of Chic. So I have that um, little scallop shell here we're gonna put on the inside. So I'll show you that. That's what that looks like. So super easy card. So you could whip out these in no time. I put just because on there, but you can put anything you want. If you want to do happy birthday, thinking of you or sympathy or whatever, you could actually stamp that later, like make the cards ahead of time and then stamp the words on there later. All right, so back to Sahara Sand. And we're almost done sponging. I forgot to look at the time when we started to see how long these take. All right, so that should be good. So I think we're done with all the blue and a Sahara sand too and our sponging. All right, and then you can save these for lots more cards. So you've got your templates and you can do that with any of your dies that you want. All right, so now we've got all five of these done. So we're gonna do the stamping. So I've got Sahara Sand, not Sahara Sand, Soft Suede, sorry. And we're gonna do this one first. So I'm gonna put this like right in the bottom corner on all of them. And then I'm gonna read some comments because I'm slacking. Isn't that pretty? That's pretty just by itself without even doing anything else. You don't even have to do anything else to this card and it would be pretty. <gasps> Uh-oh, I kind of messed up. Oh, well. I don't know if I could fix it. I didn't press hard enough. Let me see. I don't know. I'm scared to try and fix that. <laughs> if I mess it up, then I'm going to be mad. <laughs> All right, let me read some notes real quick before I finish. Um, let's see, let me go back. Oh, Debbie, you're so funny. Oh, Debbie, how's your husband doing? I think that's what Sherry was asking before, was asking about your husband, and she said, Lisa. Um, hope this is longer than 15, because I'm just seeing you now. You're <laughs> I'm more entertaining than the baseball game. <laughs> Well, that's good. <laughs> Baseball is about one of the most boring things to watch to me. Any kind of sports are kind of boring to me. I'm not really a... Um, um, no, these are just all regular white, basic white cardstock. No, I was thinking about using the um, shimmer white, though. I probably should have done shimmer white. Uh, we have four... Oh, Debbie says her husband is doing pretty good. They have four to 10, day resu 10 days for results. Um, California finally caught up with a live. Oh, good, Pat. I'm glad you got to join us. Oh, uh, you guys are so sweet. Okay. Oh, Debbie says 130 people watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and like and subscribe and all that good stuff too. Um, oh, Sherry says, yes, yeah, she was talking about your husband, Debbie. All right, so then I'm going to do this one next to that one. So right down here, we're going to put some of that little grass. And try and line it up, but it's hard to do it if you're not looking right on top of it. That one's better. Okay, so then I'm going to take the words... And we're going to do the words. Hopefully I can get these straight. Do the words. Ah. 
There we go. I hope I don't mess up. I don't want to have to redo any of these. Perfect. All right, hopefully I'm still in the picture. There we go. And I was just thinking when I was talking to Howard about going to the beach tomorrow, I got home and I was like thinking where my beach chair was because I haven't used it in so long. Because the last time I went to the beach was when I went to my sister's beach house and I left my beach chair there and then she sold the beach house. So I have no idea whatever happened to my beach chair and it was a really nice beach chair. So now I'm kind of bummed because I'm thinking I don't even have a chair to sit on the beach. I'll just have to take like a blanket or something, I guess. All right, so now we're gonna put these together on top of our white piece. Because I figured, I didn't think my sister would ever sell her beach house and, oh, we gotta stamp the inside. All right, so I'm gonna use crumb cake for the inside and then we'll put it together. So the inside of each of these is gonna have the shell. We'll just do one. I don't wanna mess up my scrap paper. These shells are so pretty. And somebody in the comments asked about the shell, where it came from, because they said it's not in Friends Are Like Seashells. And it's in the um, Texture Chic or Season of Chic or whatever it is called. That's sweet. All right, so that's the inside. And we are done stamping. See how fast these go? I could have done all 10 of these. All right, we're gonna glue them all down with the green glue. Um, oh, Christine says, I like it when my husband watches baseball because then I have more time to watch Lisa. <laughs> Unlike the Yankees watching Lisa always has a good ending. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, car. There's some, I think there's a troll on here. Somebody named Carsonena is saying a bad word. We need to get this girl off of here. So somebody delete her because I don't know what she's doing. Oh no. Oh, whew. that was just a uh, piece of lint or something. All right. So put this all down and then we're going to spray last. So we'll get that. Oh, and don't forget to use the host code. If you want to do an order, you can always go to my website. The host code will be there too. And don't forget, I'll send you that card kit in the mail. All righty. These cards are super fast. We're going to finish it in no time at all. I should have made 10, so then we could sit and talk longer. I did have my ice cream when I got home, too. And it was so delicious. I love my Tillamook ice cream. And I've converted a few more people because I've had some comments that some more of you have tried it and love it. And I'm so glad. And if any of you guys are connected to that Tillamook factory, you need to tell them um, I'm one of their biggest fans. They should send me some coupons. <laughs> Audrey says, whew, always relief when it's a piece of lint. I know I was going to be upset if that was like stuck on there. All right, last one. So now I'm halfway done with my swap. That's good. So we just have to make 10 this time. And if you're in my downline, it, well, the meeting will be on online. So send me an email if you're not part of the Inky Angels group. All right, we're going to spritz all of these. Let me put that scrap paper back down. So you don't want to mess up your spot. Uh-oh. Got some glue on here. I have to get my adhesive remover. Hold on, I'll use my shirt. <laughs> best next best thing, use your shirt when you have adhesive on there. All right, so shake it up. If you are not familiar with the shimmer spray, it is the retired Stampin' Up um, shimmer paint in champagne mist. Um, we don't sell it anymore. It retired last year, but it's made by Sukuniko, which is right there. If you can see that. So you look up that 
and then look up Champagne Mist and you should be able to find it online. It's about $5. And then you mix it with 70% alcohol and shake it up. And then it gives you this beautiful shimmer. And it's so pretty when it dries. I wish you could see my space is just so sparkly everywhere. Love it. This one I messed up a little bit though. So now I gotta find a bathing suit that fits. <laughs> I haven't put my bathing suit on in a while, except to sit out on my back deck when nobody can see me. All right, so there we go. So we've got actually six made total because I had the original one. So that one's messed up a little bit. I might have to make another one. So there you go. Nice and quick and easy in about 15 or 20 minutes. What do you guys think? Do you love it? Let me read some comments real quick. Um, oh, Christina says I converted her. Yep. Oh, Judy says they don't have it in Ontario. That's pretty weird because it's in Oregon, which is right up there. Not far from um, Canada. You only got to go through like one state to get to Canada. Um, yes, they should send me coupons. I agree. <laughs> I wish I could go visit the Tillamook factory. I'm going to have to go to Oregon because there's so many of you guys that live in Oregon and have invited me to your house to come visit. Um, oh, Cindy, your, your son bought you some. Yummy. What set is the Just Because in? I have absolutely no idea. Um, I grabbed it off my table, and I don't know what set it came from. I want to say... Uh, I don't even know. It was just sitting on my table and I just picked it up. I'm not sure what it, does anybody know what stamp set the just because is from? I tend to do that when I have a, a word um, stamp on the table. I'll just grab it if it looks like it goes good um, with the card. Oh, Leticia says she's coming from Australia to taste the ice cream. We're all going to have to have a get together party in um, Tillamook, Oregon and go to the factory. <laughs> uh, oh, Kathy says they don't have ice cream there either. I love it. All right, Karen, just throw yours away and go get some Tillamook ice cream. It, it's 10 times better. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Let me see. Anne says, good luck at the beach tomorrow. It's going to be hot as all get out. Just had a major storm in Virginia Beach. Um, Debbie, I did tell your jokes. I told all the old old ones. I didn't tell the one about the dress. I'll tell that next time. But I told the ones about um, the old people. So um, this was a quick video tonight. I'm so glad that uh, you guys joined me and hope you hope you got some a great idea here for some quick and easy cards you can make. These are super easy. And just whip them out in no time. And then you can put the word on there later. And just use whatever word you want to. It'd be a great sympathy card or thinking of you or any occasion. Um, Kathy says they have Olsen's ice cream. I've never heard of that. But it's expensive. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Like it. Subscribe. Share. All that good stuff. Uh, make sure you leave a comment if you want to win a card. And I still have, I think, only one person replied to the cards that I gave away in the last video. So I think the only person I heard from was Audrey. So if you haven't watched the last video, make sure you go back and check that out because there were five winners on that one. Um, I will see you guys on Tuesday. And Oh, True Beauty. Audrey said this is from Tr True Beauty. I think you're right because I think I had that on the, st the table with me. Hey, Marie, I'm glad you caught me live. All right, you guys, I'll um, have some more interesting stories, hopefully, on Tuesday if I hit the beach tomorrow, and I will make, yes, I will wear sunscreen and a hat. And you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.